Good morning. This is Maverick and Goose or Garden Doggy number one, Garden Doggy number two, and Stephanie with Growing from the Woodpile. And we have had a breach in the system. So this is just a little generic roll up fencing that I get from Home Depot. And they have, this is why this table's here, and this is a broken one. They jump on it until they break it. And then, it's right here. Then there's a hole, and it's big enough for um, one and two to go through. They also did it down there, and that's why that chair is there. Oh, leave Katie alone. Garden Katie number two. Jump. You got the zoomies. You got the zoomies. I know. Go jump in the garden. Go jump in the garden. Come on. I help. Oh, yes. I help you. Come on. There we It's their safe spot. Anyways. Thank you for joining us this morning. Garden Kitty number one must be still in the house. But we are going to do a small, no, probably not small, but we are going to do a garden tour. Oh, this is going crazy behind me. They got the zoomies. Um, this is boys. Boys, demo down. They got the zoomies. It's okay. Anyways, we're going to do a garden tour. This is the mm, April. April garden tour. Let's start over here. We'll talk about the good and the bad and the really bad going on in the garden. There is a lot of good things. But chamomile's going great. I harvest this quite a bit for a lady at work. I do make the tea, but sometimes I just don't, uh, don't make the time. Calendula here. I just need to pull the calendula out because there is a, a squash plant right there that's just kind of getting choked out. So I do, it's okay. I can take this one out. Um, my best tomatoes are over here and that's, that's the bad that's going on. Um, some onions here. Uh, what tomato are you? Your aroma. Doing good. Looking great. Beautiful. Um, has a few little buggies on it. I may come out and spray it today. I do have some garden chores that I want to do. Got some peas going on on the back here. I had problems with those in the beginning. Um, so now they're trying to do their thing. Some of them have died off. And Paul Ropes in here looking great. I don't know if this is a new pea shoot, but um, it's doing good. But then you see all the dead ones in the back. I have a pepper plant right here doing good. What are you? You don't, you don't have a you don't have a tag. Oh, it's a shishito. A fig going on. A pepper plant. This was a shishito. It has some new sprouts towards the bottom, so maybe it'll come back up. Um, got some sweet peas here, smelling wonderful. Some more here. Onions. This shishito plant made it through the winter, but now it's struggling. Got a nice pepper plant here. Eliaza. Um, and some peas up here starting to struggle. Why are you dry? Are you not getting water? Transplanted pepper plants from the winter here that are uh, not doing good. I had them in some pots you'll see over a little bit later. Those are struggling. Straw flower. Zucchini plant. It has lots of girl and boy parts so I'm assuming it's gonna start doing its thing. Um, having... Oh. Hi, you went in your garden and you're not allowed? You're just gonna eat the grass? Okay. Um, having the nasturtiums here, I think have been helpful because it brings in the bees. Um, the nasturtiums are looking a little rough. It is getting a little warm. And I actually have several times come in and just... Okay. This, this is all nasturtium. It just kind of pulled some out. I got um, too much going on in this bed. I need to actually trim back a couple of things. I have 
right here, a okra plant. Here, a massive zucchini plant that is doing awesome. It has, I don't know, I can see like six right there coming along. So I'll probably harvest those tomorrow. Um, that doing great. This right here is all volunteer plants. This is a volunteer cilantro plant. Um, some calendula, a weed. I gotta set my priorities in the garden today, but um, there is another okra plant right here. So I need to pull some of the leaves off. I just need the okra plant to get taller than the zucchini. Um, I probably should have planted. I don't know what I should have done. I wanted more things in here. So, um, but look at these. They're starting to die. These have just been wonderful. I do need to save some seed pods in these. Like right here. Here's, here's some. So I've never grown this great. And this is my first year that it's done wonderful in this spot. And I need to leave it there just a little bit longer to save some seeds. All right. Going on here is a volunteer pea plant, and you get it here and harvest some of these. More volunteer calendula. And in the back side is a blue hubbard squash. And all I see is boy flowers, no girl flowers. But it's getting quite big. And over here, there was, there's an eggplant. I did not know how massive hollyhocks get, and this is the second year for this one. It should be have more, but it doesn't. I will have to decide if I actually want that hollyhock to stay there. Okay, coming over here. Now we're getting into the okay tomatoes. We got okra, we got a basil. Here, I'm gonna top this basil real quick. Some onions. Never had great luck with, um, ground cherries doesn't look like this one's doing great the basil smells good i just grow him because he's pretty some swiss chard so these are the tomatoes that are doing okay just okay um why do you have weird spots on you and these are the ones i got from the university of florida it's an imperial gem you got klisman okra these Again, are doing okay. You are our RH hybrid and a garden ruby and then some sweet peas here. But this part of the tomato plant looks good. So hopefully, hopefully, got some zinnias down here, right, right there. And got some straw flowers. Over here is another, another. Um, hollyhock and then there actually is another squash plant here but he's getting so choked out um what, i think he's another blue hubbard yeah i heard they're good for decoy so i planted them for decoys chamomile volun oh no it says aroma tomato so it wasn't a volunteer but that is the best one of the best ones there was a fig in here that died right here it made me so sad that was kind of my fault. I I pulled the leaf off when I was planting it on accident. Coming down this, I've kind of decided I want to turn these two beds into like mint beds. I know they're invasive, um, and that's okay. These two beds, there's cement underneath it, and um, things do okay here. They do okay. I like mint. I make mint tea all the time, and where my mint is keeps getting buggos and I'm not doing so good. So I want to grow up more in mass, but I want it contained. Um, these are also chives. They have really bounced back now um, after the winter. Tomato plant, eh, doing okay. Well, my camera decided to cut off and I'm saying, I was talking too much about too many things. So I need to guess be more condensed. We were talking about growing um, peppermint in there. And so over here we got more sweet peas that are doing great. And in this bed, we have Swiss chard and two volunteer tomatoes. Looks like a yellow and a red. 
some volunteer cilantro down there. Not a lot going on in this bed, but there is a lot going on in here. There's onions and dill and cilantro and carrots. I did pull two carrots and I have not successfully grown carrots, um, big carrots yet. So hopefully someday um, we got the Romanesca broccoli that I let to flower. We got fig and some okra over here, lots of straw flowers. Lots of straw flowers. Doing good on um, this uh, cucumber plant. Come on, you can do it. Come back through. There you go. Go up the trellis. Sorry, you're not doing that. Um, I do have, I see my first cucumber right here. Um, this uh, shishito is looking great. It's overwintered. I see some. Mm, sweet peas I must have planted. And then we got the, over here, we got the, um, what's it called? Wait for it, um, asparagus. I wanna establish this in my asparagus bed, long term. All right, so this is what's going on. We'll see a lot of this throughout. My tomatoes turning brown and not doing great. And one last key. Cucumber, roselle, sweet peas. Looks like the cats are um, using this right here. Gonna have to do something about it. This pepper plant looks great. He is overwintered. Okay, one tomatillo, all other dead tomatillos. One dead one, dead one, dead one. And I don't know if you can see this. It's, it's covered in aphid looking, I didn't know aphids really like tomatoes. And they are just going after my tomatoes hard. Um, so, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. We'll see more as we go down to the other beds. Got some green onions. Got another fabulous zucchini plant. I actually was doing so well, I kept on trying to, I had a fig in here. So I moved the fig. Where did I move the fig to? How did I put it in here? Thought I did. But we'll see onions going on oh he's right here and he's not doing well and I moved him but he is getting water I feel that that's damp but he did not like the move well that's sad well that's so sad keep going all right got some cilantro flowering here I probably should harvest the last little bit of cilantro that I can over here it is nice that now I know that the sweet peas do have a different, um, how do you say it, thicker, weird stock. I was like, how am I going to tell the difference? Okay, we got cilantro, some beets, some more cilantro. This is my sweet pepper bed. So um, I don't want like these peppers to get choked out by these beets. So I may have to Pull some of them. Oh, look, this is the ground cherry that died. So these are all sweet. Oh, my goodness. Look at you, pepper. Oh, a little plant for such a big pepper. Then more sweet peppers. So the sweet, the peppers are doing great. Oh, look at you, another one. Um, no complaints there on the sweet peppers. Oh, you have some, why'd you fall off? Huh. And this is supposed to be all sweet, but these were established from last year. These are hot. This was a jalapeno plant. He, he's struggling. Coming over here, we got roselle, some sweet peas, some cilantro, some Swiss chard. So this, this is a volunteer tomato plant, doing great. There's cilantro throughout here, and then also some cauliflower and broccoli that I started from seed. And um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Ooh, look at that aphid infestation right there. So I do need to come out and spray them down with some water. Why is the dill dying back there? Oh, it's covered in aphids. It is, it is. One of the good bucks gonna come in. That's what they say. All right, got some beets going on over here. I like myself some beet greens. I actually do like beets in general. Got another opal basil that I need to trim back. So coming down, this is the back side of the green stalk. This is lavender. And then 
Look at all these strawberries. I grew these strawberries from seed. And it was seed I got from a thrift store. They were an alpine strawberry. They're a little small. It was a great learning curve on learning how to grow strawberries. Do not recommend the alpine. They are sweet, but they're just small. They don't get any bigger than, than this. Just a little nibble. Just a little nibble. I have a little snacks every time I go out here. All right, we got some parsley going on here. Some green onion. Parsley going to flower. I've never had parsley flower in the first season. I think things stay hotter in the green stock. Got some, uh, what's that called? Marigold. Okay, keep going. Keep going. We don't need to talk about every plant. <laughs> okay, we got some peppers going on here. Some struggling tomatoes again, have all the bugs on them. I have sprayed them with neem oil and it didn't do anything with them. So I feel like I just need to get back in there and spray them again. See this one, I don't know if it's gonna recover. Got some here. Um, there is a few um, peppers in with this bed, but this was supposed to be mostly a tomato bed. And uh, volunteer, straw flowers. So now we're getting into the hot pepper beds. Um, Oh look, this black crumb's completely dead. Some dill, some peppers. These are all like hatch. These are all hot, all hot. These are peas I planted. I thought they were still in season, but mm, obviously not. And what are you dying, little zinnia? They're not very packed in. It's like they never took root. Oh, that's weird. I wonder if we don't get water over there. Huh. Okay, back side of another green stock. Green stock's mostly strawberries. There is some basil. Look at all these strawberries down here. Many these strawberries. I'm gonna come out and pick some today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strawberries. Ooh, that's a big one. So this is pretty big for right there. That's about as big as they get. More chamomile. Now we're coming down the back stretch. All hot peppers, struggling tomatoes. I'm glad that, I'm not glad that my tomatoes are struggling, but I am happy that they haven't jumped over to the peppers. So maybe I need to do some preventive maintenance and just spray them. And, but there's a bee. Okay, so we got rosemary and the yeast was all along my decoy plant of of um what's it called kale to get the aphids that's where i wanted them to go you got another volunteer tomato down there and then we got peppers and peppers and a lot of them are resisting some of them are new some of them need peppers pulled off of them these are the um ones from last year. They're probably to you, but all those flowers right there. Uh probably a habanero. That one's a Tabasco. Now over here we got the best looking fig that I have seen so far. And then I got a watermelon plant right there. The plumeria has woke up. He better give me flowers this year. This is a volunteer tomato plant here he's doing good ish I mean I see lots of tomatoes but then also dead sweet peas on the back okay more peppers in here more peppers can't quite tell in this light that the leaves are kind of turning this and I don't know if it's because it's the old leaves and then the new leaves are coming in they do have a little bit of a curl to them but this one, this guy has gotten so big, which is great because he was not very big last year. It's a, he's going on his second year. And then over here, see again, this, this type of look. Probably need to get on YouTube and see if I can figure out why. This is a haban habanero? No, uh, it's a jalapeno. All right, this is the mint I was talking about. The leaves curl up, it gets white flies or aphids, and they just never do so good. And it takes me so long to wash it, just to use it to make tea. And that's not near enough. That would maybe maybe a gallon, and I like a lot more than that. Volunteer tomato plant. Basil. Spider webs. 
sweet peas going on over here and then carrots again and my carrots they just don't get very big well you were well you were not supposed to do that you were supposed to come out well maybe he's a big one because he's not coming out mm. he's not that big so that is the outback and we will head up front Wow, this is a longer video than I thought. We do got garden doggy number two trying to get a dick. Did you get one? Yeah. Garden doggy number one, just chillaxing. Do you do you want to carry it? You want to carry it? Okay, you can have it. He likes carrots. Oh no. Well then I need to give you a carrot. Here, you can have this one. You both got carrots. Here, you got two little ones. He got one bigger one. All right, coming out front, you're gonna see all these little twigs down here on the bottom. We cut this branch off right there um, because it was dead. He said it had like a black fungus. This is a fika tree. Um, hopefully it doesn't hurt the rest of the tree it was a pretty big branch but my son hasn't finished getting those up because there used to be a, another fica here and it was quite dead and we finally just cut it down i wanted to grind the stump and put um, an orange tree here but we're going into summer and it's just too hot so um i'm just gonna plant some sunflowers here as you see i transplanted some zinnias down the back. These were some volunteer zinnias right here though that I just noticed. And some African daisies. But um, I'm gonna plant some sunflowers in here. Then we got the massive um, hollyhock, which again, that's why I didn't know they got that big. And um, unfortunately it's choking out the rose plant right here but I guess it's like a double bloom hollyhock. It's really pretty. Yeah, it, it's, it's pretty, 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 um, but pretty big also. Again, there's lots of twigs and stuff that need to be finished, pulled up. Weeds coming up because we need to get some rain. The bougainvillea that's pretty in the death of me. Uh, over here, we have calendula that's on its way out. Some more straw flowers. Another hollyhock. So let's see. There's two in here. So this is the front one. And then this is a back one. So if it gets as big as that, nothing really else needs to be in here. Some more calendula down here. They, again, all the calendula was um, self-seeded. So I didn't, I didn't really plant those. Got a little bit of African daisies and going on. This is normally where I do plant my sunflowers, but there's so much going on in here right now. It's not going to happen like that. Got a big weed going on right here. You got weeds when you see them. Okay, so, oh, we got more weeds over there. I do need to get a plan for the day. Um, working a full-time job now is work. <laughs> so, we'll see. But thank you for learning and growing with the wood pile where there was a breach in the system. Silly dogs. I say a lot to them. It's a good thing you're cute.